This weird aircraft was supposed to replace the U.S.'s F-16 Falcon, A-10 Warthog, F-18 Hornet, and AV-8 Harriers from the different branches of the U.S. military. Not only that, but it also harbored stealth capabilities competing that of the F-22s. A jet so stealthy that even the U.S. Air Force lost one while it was still in flight and asked the public for any information as soon as it was seen. This strange aircraft has three variations and is used by all of the U.S. military's branches, covering a wide range of missions and purposes, used by multiple nations worldwide and is currently being bought by the dozens, its marketability speaks for its renowned capabilities and features. This is the F-35. The F-35's story began in 1995 with the inception of the Joint Strike Fighter, or JSF, program. Its mission, to create a single, adaptable platform that could serve the U.S. Air Force, Marine Corps, and Navy a compatibility of capabilities. Unlike its stealthy sibling, the F-22 Raptor, the F-35 was designed for export, making it a global player. The reason being why the F-22 was never exported was because of security reasons and concerns that its technologies will fall into enemy hands, if ever something like the F-117 incident ever occurred again. Arguably the most sophisticated aircraft ever produced is the F-35. An expert in all fields, a stealth fighter aircraft that combined and enhanced the F-16, AV-8B Harrier, and B-2's strengths. A combat plane with exceptional maneuverability that can strike targets on the ground as well as in the air. Using the knowledge gained from Lockheed's earlier forays into stealth with the F-22 Raptor and F-117 Nighthawk, the aircraft is designed to be imperceptible. An aircraft equipped with the newest computer systems and sensors. Without sacrificing stealth, information can be shared practically instantaneously with teammates and shown immediately on a heads-up display on the pilot's helmet visor, providing exceptional situational awareness, permitting an F-35 flight to engage in combat as a cohesive unit. It is very challenging to fit all these features onto a single airframe. The meticulous sculpting of the plane's exterior is necessary to provide stealth which dictates the design of key components, making inevitable compromises. Many believe that stealth makes an aircraft invisible to radar and sets it in a way to be never seen again. But this is simply a myth, as stealth only delays an aircraft from being detected by enemy radar and prevents it from getting shot down as fast as before. In the late 1990s, Boeing and Lockheed Martin squared off in an epic battle. Their mission? To prove that their respective designs could revolutionize aerial warfare, the X-35 and X-32 weren't fighter prototypes, they were concept demonstrators, the audacious pioneers of what would become the F-35 Lightning II. The X-32 of Boeing was its main competitor during the JSF program, having similar features to the F-35 we know today. The X-32 flaunted a novel airframe shape like a futuristic origami bird. Its direct lift short takeoff and vertical landing configuration was akin to the legendary Harrier. Picture this, lift nozzles dead center, engine up front, and a stubby nose. The X-32A, conventional takeoff and landing, and X-32B, Stoviel, danced between rolls effortlessly. The X-35's performance edged out the X-32, but both held their own. The X-32's delta wings and unconventional intake raised eyebrows, while the X-35 flaunted adaptability. Despite similar capabilities, the X-32 faced skepticism. Critics questioned its single-engine reliance and complex design. In the end, the X-35's versatility and global appeal won hearts. The X-35 emerged victorious, evolving into the F-35 Lightning II, the world's most advanced multi-role fighter. But let's not forget the X-32. Its daring design pushed boundaries and influenced the F-35's DNA. The F-35 is a multi-purpose light fighter that can replace the F-16 Falcon 
and the F-5E Tiger II in the role of a versatile light fighter that can perform any number of roles on the battlefield, but is not specialized in any of them. The F-22 is an elite heavy fighter designed to take on the most sophisticated enemy combat aircraft. While the F-35 is a single-seat, single-engine, stealth, multi-role fighter jet capable of performing ground attacks and air defense missions, the F-22 Raptor is a single-seat, twin-engine, fifth-generation, tactical fighter aircraft specializing in air dominance. The Joint Striker program was initiated in the mid-1990s. While the first prototype, the X-35, flew in 2000, the F-35 aircraft took its first flight in 2006. Since then, the fighter has led the pack among fifth-generation aircraft and is being used by 14 militaries worldwide. According to Lockheed Martin, more than 1,000 F-35s have been developed and operated from over 26 bases worldwide. Over 1,255 pilots and 10,030 maintenance staff had been trained on the aircraft. On the other hand, F-22 Raptors are only meant for the U.S. Air Force. The U.S. has federal laws over the export of fighters, and the U.S. government apprehends that such classified designs and technology could fall into the wrong hands. Furthermore, the Pentagon has classified a number of unique aspects of the F-22 Raptor, to the extent that its pilots are prohibited from utilizing all of the aircraft's capabilities in international drills, not even with close allies. The F-22 Raptors are thought to be the most stealthy fighter jets on the planet in terms of stealth technology. Compared to the F-35s, the aircraft has an even smaller cross-radar section. Even with their abundance of modern technologies, the F-35s were designed for air-to-ground missions. As a result, they are completely outmatched by the Raptors in dogfighting because F-22s are fighter jets designated for total air supremacy. The F-35 Lightning Sows represents a quantum leap in aerial combat capabilities. It embodies cutting-edge advancements in stealth technology, sensor integration, and combat versatility. As a critical asset to the U.S. Air Force and Allied Forces, understanding the F-35's capabilities offers insight into the future of aerial warfare. Here are the reasons why it stands out and why it's the most advanced fighter jet to soar the skies of today. First is its interoperability. The F-35 boasts a high rate of interoperability with allies and partners, particularly within NATO. Its seamless integration allows for joint operations and information sharing across different platforms. Second, its reliable upgrade roadmap. The F-35 comes with a robust upgrade path, ensuring it remains at the forefront of technology. This adaptability is crucial in an ever-evolving threat landscape. Third, the impressive operational results it has. The U.S. Air Force's 34th Fighter Generation Squadron completed Exercise Red Flag 21-1 without losing a single F-35A sortie to maintenance issues. F-35As flew over 4,700 miles from Alaska to Guam, enduring temperatures from negative 30 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit, showcasing their agility and endurance. During an 18-month deployment to the U.S. Central Command Area of Responsibility, F-35s delivered operationally 42 jets, 1,100 airmen, 1,319 sorties, 352 total weapons dropped, and 3,774 25mm rounds expended. Fourth, global community effort. The F-35 program involves an international team of government allies and aerospace industry leaders. Companies worldwide contribute to its development, production, and support, creating a network of expertise and collaboration. The United Kingdom is the sole Level 1 partner. They contribute significantly to the program and have ordered F-35s for their Royal Air Force and Royal Navy. Italy and the Netherlands are Tier 2 partners. They contribute financially and have their own F-35 fleets. Australia, Canada, Denmark, Norway and Turkey are Tier 3 partners. They have invested in the program and operate or plan to operate F-35s. Israel and Singapore are SCPs or Security Cooperative Participants, 
While not full partners, they participate in the program and have access to F-35 technology. Several other countries participate through the Foreign Military Sales FMS program. These include Belgium, Finland, Germany, Japan, Poland, South Korea, Switzerland, and the Czech Republic. The F-35 has been employed in combat operations by six services across different countries and has participated in NATO missions, showcasing its effectiveness in real-world scenarios. Although there is rising competition like the J-35 and J-20 from China, Turkish Kizil Elma drone fighter jet, and other similar and cheaper alternatives, the F-35 gives the most advanced proven technology in the present day. Its sensor fusion and advanced aircraft situational awareness is second to none and has justified its cost so far. Its implication in war is not yet seen, but the current Israeli-Iranian conflict may show how effective the F-35 platform is when it comes to actual combat against a near-peer competitor. The F-35A, often referred to as the workhorse, embodies conventional air operations. It launches from standard runways, its Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine propelling it into the skies. Designed for the U.S. Air Force and several allied nations, the F-35A combines agility, range, and adaptability. It's the backbone of modern air defense. The F-35B, a vertical takeoff capable plane, redefines flexibility. It hovers, then ascends vertically. Its direct lift capability allows it to operate from confined spaces, aircraft carriers, short airfields, or even expeditionary sites. The US Marine Corps and other forces value the F-35B for its expeditionary prowess. It's a very flexible fighter that can operate even in the densest of forests and the smallest of runways. The F-35C, designed for naval supremacy, approaches the vast expanse of the ocean. Its wings fold, ready for catapult launches and arrested landings on aircraft carriers. CV stands for Carrier Variant. The F-35C is tailor-made for catapult launches and arrested landings on aircraft carriers. The U.S. Navy relies on the F-35C to secure maritime dominance. It's the guardian of carrier strike groups, ensuring air superiority over open waters. Its airframe is also widened in order to achieve much longer ranges suited for its purpose on the aircraft carrier. The F-35I Adir. The name Adir roughly translates to mighty or mighty one in Hebrew. It reflects the IAF's pride in this advanced fighter jet. The F-35I Adir is configured uniquely for operational testing of Israeli weapons and systems. It differs from other test aircraft in the USA as it presents both advanced aero-mechanical testing capabilities and full operational capabilities. The IAF has customized this variant to meet its specific requirements. The F-35I Adir features an interesting detail the Electro-Optical Targeting System, EOTS, appears to be painted in the same color as the rest of the airframe. It's unclear whether this is a special paint, allowing the sensor to see through it, or if the sensor is entirely missing and replaced by a fairing replicating its shape. It may seem that the F-35 is a perfect aircraft, but just like what history tells, every great aircraft comes with a handful of controversies. Cost overruns and delays. The F-35 program has been nearly a decade behind schedule since its official inception in 2001. Its development timeline has been plagued by delays, leading to escalating costs. The unit cost per airplane has soared above $100 million, making it one of the most expensive military acquisitions in history. Design flaws and reality. The F-35 program grapples with nearly 900 design flaws. These range from stealth coating issues to problems with the helmet technology and weapon systems. Lockheed Martin, the company behind the F-35, made grand claims about its performance. Yet mock combat testing revealed shortcomings. In air-to-air -air combat, it fell short of expectations when pitted against an F-16, one of the fighters it is slated to replace. Crashes. 
Almost every military aircraft in history has faced a crash or two, but for an advanced and expensive military jet like this, crashes cannot be tolerated. In December 2022, an F-35B Lightning II crashed during a training mission at Naval Air Station Joint Reserve Base, Fort Worth, Texas. The viral video captured the pilot safely ejecting from the fighter as it spun out of control and crashed nose first on the runway. The incident prompted officials to ground an unspecified number of F-35s and halt the acceptance of new jets and F-135 engines. After months of investigations, the F-35 Joint Program Office, JPO, resumed accepting new F-35s from Lockheed Martin. The JPO implemented mitigation efforts for an identified engine issue related to harmonic resonance. Extensive technical and flight-worthy checks ensure the readiness of the aircraft for operational use. Other crashes such as the plane catching fire, a failed emergency landing, an actual crash, and an F-35C falling into the water. But let's not focus too much on those failures, because many factors can affect the outcome of a plane's fate. The Flying Brick The F-35's primary focus on stealth compromised its air-to-air -air prowess. While it excels in evading radar, its dogfighting capabilities have been questioned. Balancing these priorities has been a contentious issue throughout the program. Geopolitical controversy. The F-35's international collaboration involves multiple partner nations. However, some countries have faced political and financial challenges due to their involvement. Balancing national interests, technology transfer, and costs has led to tensions among allies. Although having numerous problems, we cannot simply deny that the F-35 is the current peak of modern fifth-generation aircraft with its sensor integration, multi-comms functions, and its advanced avionics. Although very expensive to develop and produce, the F-35 program provides top-notch security and capabilities to the nations that have bought and put it into service. The U.S. is not the only nation to develop a formidable fighter jet. China has one too, and its numbers is already in the hundreds. If you're interested in that, click this video.